Hello and welcome to another Nicomedia tutorial. So I am back from my vacation and uh, yeah, let's do something. I read my emails and everything and uh, the first question I saw, uh, I thought I will do this now and then I will continue with my list. But this is a easier one and I am a little tired, still tired, but I want to do something. so. Um, we will do this from MT01, this thing here. And so the question was about this, of course, how to do this. And uh, without X particles. And yeah, we will do this. I show a way with fields. So uh, this, with fields, is, uh, you get a nicer result. And I will, if you don't have R20, if you have an older version, I will show you how you can do something like like this effect uh, with the normal uh, falloffs and something else. Okay, you see he did, I don't know if he did it in cinema or in Houdini or something else. Uh, I guess this will be, I don't know, maybe it's, I think X particles because you see how did uh, the, the, the spheres come out and the floor. so I think this is an X particles thing. Uh, but he don't, I see he don't uh, mention X particles, so maybe it's uh, Houdini. Okay, but we don't need Houdini for this. Uh, yeah, and the next thing is uh, some people, uh, some very rare people, so, 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 they ask me to, to blend in my shortcuts when I do my shortcuts because they don't understand my shortcuts when I, uh, when I speak. And I don't know why, but uh, yeah, maybe I'm sometimes too too too, too lazy to <laughs> to speak clearly, or sometimes too fast, or to what whatever. But I tried this now. I I, I record here with Con Camtasia, and Camtasia um, does not record every um, shortcuts, and n not these shortcuts in Cinema 4D. It records things like yeah, it is uh, control. Uh, or something else and, and the, the normal shortcuts but not which we use here so I will think about how I can do this maybe I take another recording program or something else if you have one with the, who does, uh, which does this uh, nicely please tell me in the comments so um, yeah okay uh, yeah let's start okay we start with a uh, cube you can take uh, every uh, primitive you want here. I start with the cube and let's make here two segments everywhere. Okay. And the next thing is I make an uh, atom array out of this. So with Alt, you know, if you hold the Alt key, the atom array will become a parent of the cube. So here in the atom array, let's say one by one, maybe so, or two by two. No, let's stay with one. Let's how does the original one look? Ah, like one point five. So everybody is happy. Yeah, it takes some more. As more segments you create here is better that the, uh, the effect will be so uh, but for the tutorial should be 12 subdivisions here should be more than enough so now I make this editable you can click on uh, current state to object if you want or something else. but you know we have I have this edit optimize script the link is uh, not in the, descri in the description you will find a link to my uh, website and there you will find all the links to, to the plugins and everything. Okay, so click on it. Yes, so we have this atom array here. Now, I go in the edge mode and select the edges here. So, I, with uh, zero on the numpad, you can go to the rectangle selection. Here I want a tolerant selection and only select visible off. 
and I select this one, hold my shift key to add the selection this, this and this and this so I've selected all the long uh, edges here not the edge ones and now I want to divide this so to cut them so that I have more segments with MF, MF is edge cut I go to the subdivisions and let's try with 20 I don't want end guns and apply oh, 20 is a little less let's try 30 40 as I said as more segments as more segments you have as better it is and 40 should, should be okay now for the tutorial at least and now you see we have some nice yeah, for it. Yeah, that's okay for now. Good. Next step. Uh, I make a vertex vertex map in R twenty. Now we can grow a vertex map. So because uh, when I want to clone on this on this uh, cube here. And but only on the selected parts. So uh, we go in point mode, and I go here. As, no, I will start from here above. So from this point, here, and I select only. So it's nine on the numpad. You have the life selection. I select only one point here. So let's select this point. Now I go to select set vertex weight, and I want hundred percent here. Enter. So now you see I have here a vertex map. And here is the vertex map. And now in the vertex map I say use fields. And in the freeze one here the mode to grow. You see it here? Let's say 5 cm here. So. And when I hit play now you see it grows. And this is exactly where, I, on the yellow parts, I want to clone. So this is maybe a little slow. If it's too slow for you, just go higher with this. So you see, this is faster. Eight. Okay. Good. Let's save this whole thing. I will save it with assets, so I don't have to care about it. So, let's see growing something growing not growing vertex so this okay now make, let's make a sphere ba -ba -ba -bam, sphere smaller five Five should be fine, I think. We can change this later on. And we cloned this one, so cloner. And we clone on an object. And the object is the atom array. So, okay, let's make some more here. 300 for the moment. And I want, as I said, just on the selection. But here in the cloner we have a little problem. The cloner does not work with the vertex map, you see. Normally now it should be only on this point. And it does nothing. So, okay. We have to make a selection tag. Okay, now 20 is quite easy. So I go to my atom array here. Polygon mode. And I have selected nothing. And I make a set selection. So. Uh, I store a selection tag here, see? If you don't have set selection here, you can go to select and here you have set selection. Okay. And in the selection tag, we have use fields. Remember, just in R20. Use fields. And in this fields here, I bring in the vertex map. Don't need the freeze. So now the vertex map is feeding the uh, selection tag here. Okay, now go to the cloner and say take 
this one here, polygon selection. Now you see, uh -huh, this works. And if I hit play and the vertex map grows, uh, the selection will grow too. So, whoops, you see? That works so far. Good. Next step, we want not to intersect them. So, uh, b -b 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 first, I think the sphere is a little too big. Let's go to three here. And in the cloner, I want, of, of course, uh, different sizes. So I go to the cloner, and in the effector, I take the random effector. And that the random effector can be wherever you want, but uh, I, I put it mostly over my cloner so I know uh, it, it belongs to this one. Good, in the random effector I want the parameter scale, and uniform scale and let's say minus 0.8, so something like this. And replay this. Yeah, I have different sizes, you see it. And so that we can play a little faster, I go to render instances and I want much more clones. So let's start with 2000 clones. So let's see. Okay, looks nice, but that is still intersect. So we give the cloner a rigid body tag. Rigid body tag here. If you don't have it in your toolbar, just right click to simulation text rigid body. You find it here. And in the rigid body, it's important to say in inherit, apply to all children, and all. Top level would be okay here too, but I always take all. And here in the force, I will follow in position and rotation. And I try it with five so that, that they stay together. So that they, even if we, have, if we have gravity and something else, they don't fall down. They stay together and they stay at, in position. So I go to five by five, should be enough. And now let's see what we get. Now we get something like this. Okay, five is maybe two less. Let's go to 10. You see, I've seen the gravity. And now 10. That should. That works now. If it still don't work, or you don't like it, you can just um, disable the gravity. So with Shift V, uh, with Control D is the project setting, Control D, you go to Dynamics, and here you can disable the gravity. But I want to play with the gravity. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. And I want more clones. 5000. Don't forget to, stay, to go to render instances. And this looks quite nice. I'm happy with this. So the next thing is we could start to render this. Uh, I render this in Octane, but this it's uh, the same thing in in the uh, in the physical render with with the mo uh, MoGraph uh, shader color shader. So maybe I show it once. I show it quickly how you can uh, make this with the physical, and then we go to the Octane. So they have different colors here and we have here some intersections oh maybe they, they disappear later yes they are not ready now so you see now we, we don't have any intersections here okay so let's go again to something like here in the random effector i activate the color mode to effect the color and for to uh, I need a material now, of course, and in the material, go to the color, and here in the texture, I go to MoGraph Color Shader. Bring it on my cloner, and we should have something we can play with. Huh? 
Okay, no. Ah, in, in, in the physical render, you have one problem, so you should do this only uh, in the final render because uh, this works here only with uh, instances and not render instances. So, with instances, it should work. You see, we have different colors, and if you don't like these colors, you simply go to the color shader, make a colorizer. And now you can set your own colors here. So you see, you can try if you like it uh, in the random effect uh, with use alpha strength, and it looks like this. And here, of course, you can take uh, everything you want. So let's say this guy thing. You have a nice thing here. Okay, so it works in the in physical render. But we, I want to make this in Octane because just it because it's faster. So good. First, I want to bring the atom array on the on the floor. So I go to drop to floor. You will find link on my website to this plugin. Drop to floor. So. Nicomedia's Octane rig. Yeah, there will come soon now an update for Octane Rig and the, the physical rig. Uh, I can't not promise when, but I think it will be possible this month. With some new things and, and some uh, more easy workflows and everything. So, uh, now in Octane we need, of course, a color too. Uh, and then a material too. So I think I close the material. Then I go to my node editor. So save in between. Sometimes don't forget to save. Um, make it a little bigger. Okay, and now here we have the bottom here the MoGraph color shader. Take it and put it in the diffuse channel. Put it on the cloner. Here we can use the render instances. And let's see what we get. Okay, I already see that it works. So let's play some frames. Okay. In the Octane Rig I want uh, background here, so that looks nicer. Let's make one uh, metal material for the atom array here. So. Okay, and of course here, I behind, between the color shader and the diffuse channel here, I can use a colorizer too, so I go to my colorizer. Track it on this line here, whoops. And you see that it works all very nice. Load preset. Take this one here. And we have a nice color thing, you see. Here the intersection is because it's not already, uh, the dynamic is not finished, so it will not intersect at the end. Good. Next thing I want to do, I want to make the floor dynamic too, so the, if they come down, they don't uh, go through the floor. In the new version of the Octane Rig, you will have the the, oppor the opportunity or the, the possibility to just click on dynamic, but at the moment we make simply a disk. Make it bigger. Hide it. And give it a collision. Collider body. Bock. As I said, right click, simulation, collider. Here you have you have everything. Good, the collider body we have to do nothing. And this should work now. Let's see. With NA I can disable my mesh here and with NQ I can disable the materials. 
I don't render now, I just wanna see how it works. Okay, normally the, the floor should be dynamic too. Oh yeah, they come up here, you see. It works quite well. This hundred frames, we can make more frames or we simply <coughs> uh, go to the vertex and I put the grow and say 10 here so it goes faster then. Oop. Yeah, that works perfect. And here you see nicely how the vertex map grows. Here we have some empty things, that means let us use more clones. We are on 5000 now, let's go to 10,000. Be crazy, whoops, try it, wow. <laughs> Okay, how does this look now? Yeah, that looks great. And you see they don't they don't go through the floor here, they lay on the floor, that's nice. And we can make a fun thing, we can to at any frame we can say uh, now let fall all the all the spheres. So when I do this Let's say we want to let's fall all the at 50. So I disable the cloner for the moment and go to the rigid body tag here. We don't need this at the moment, so make so this is okay, this is okay. Let's go to frame 49. I record this and this one. And one frame forward is G on the keyboard. On 50 I say zero, zero and record it. Let's see what we get. Ah, I should, I should activate the cloner again. And let's make this some less 7000 maybe. Just for, for the, to see how it looks. And now, woof, they fall down. Check, check. And the funny thing is, uh, here, the clone, the, the continue to clone a little bit. And mm. everything falls down. To have it totally correct, we should give the atom array a collider tag too. So let's do this. Let's go to 5000 here, just for the testing. So I take the collider tag here and drag it to the atom array too. And but here we have to, I think we have to be careful. Let's see if it works like this. Not really. I go to the atom array. The collision, I see. Static mesh. Yeah, now it looks better. And now they should uh, collide with the... Yeah, now it collides everywhere. Ah, why, where, why do they disappear? They go through. Okay, when you have this problem, we can quite easy fix this. Uh, of course, yeah, I just stole the, 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 <laughs> the cannot, this control track is a copy, so <laughs> I just stole the, the, the floor. So.
now it should be okay. Yes, now it works. Okay, nice. That's funny that they stay inside here. Yeah, of course, because this is a collider. Good. Uh, what can we do more? I want to to rotate this a little bit. So what I want is now this point. Let's see what we can do more here. Let's play a little bit. I want to rotate the atom array here. R. 45 degrees and now I go to the world coordinates and here I drag it 35 degrees that should be okay so okay I want that it starts from well, it doesn't matter from here you can of course if you want it to start it from here, or you can start from from each uh, edge here. Just in the in the vertex, I just uh, make the selection, the one point, one point, one point, one one, and then make a, a vertex map, and then it starts from from more uh, thing. And don't forget to put the vertex map, then the new vertex map, in here, in the selection tag. Uh, I will show you what I mean. This is, I think it's easier. I delete this vertex map here and want this point uh, yeah I want to start from, from this point here so for the moment I want to disable the catcher here so go down to this point here oop, oop. point atom array and whoops take this point here Maybe make a second point on the other side here, back here. Okay. Well, that should be okay. Something like this. Oh, we'll see later. Let's bring back the floor. So I, have, I see where am I? So okay. Fine. And now, with this two points selected, I make a new vertex map. Select vertex weight 100%. Okay. Again, here, use fields, grow 10. Okay. And now, in this one, let's delete this one and put in the new one. And this should work now. You see we have here and here points. And whoops, now it starts from two sides. Okay. Nice so far. Let's give it ten thousand clones. Maybe even more. Oh, 10,000 is, I think, is enough. Yeah, but it looks a little boring. So it looks too, too, too symmetrically everything. So what we can do here is go to the vertex. Maybe I disable the cloner for the moment. And go to just want to see the vertex map. Okay. And in the vertex map here, we can add some noise so that it does not uh, go so 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 straight down so I take here a shader field in the shader field of course I want the noise you see the noise already here I go to uh, overlay and now you see it starts to do not so to do be not so so thing so 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 Symmetrically, so I go here to 500 maybe and contrast 
No, 500 is maybe too big. 50, let's see. Yeah, it looks better. Let's go to world here. Should be the same here. Yeah. Okay, that's again. So now let's see what things. We have now a little noise on the on the on the tips. It works like I want it, but maybe we find a nicer one. Let's go to here. To overlay is the right one. Huh? Subtract. So it's nothing. Uh, Max is not a good idea. <laughs> Screen won't want to be a good idea too, I think. Yeah. It. And finally, try a clip. Why not? Yeah, clip is okay. Clip is nice. Let me go here to the shader. So make it maybe three hundred. Yeah. Let's see what we get here. It's an interesting one. So, Kelowna. For the test, I make it. I go to 5000. Yeah, we have. We have noise now here. That's, that's okay. But 15,000. Let's see what we get. Woof. Maybe it's <laughs> it's funny with an animated noise. Let's try it. Why not? Let's try an animated noise. Why not? Animation speed point one loop period four. So the always change here I have 15,000 is maybe a little but I do it without so and I go to overlay this is what I'm like most, I think. But you can do it, and I hope, however you want, and I hope you show me your things, your result. Yeah, this is what I like. And let's go here to the. Corona. Rigid Body Deck Force. I don't want to fall let fall them down so, so like this and we are done. So let's let's cache this. Uh, let's see how long Oh I wanna cache with uh, maybe fifteen thousand Cache this guy here, big object and I will be back when it's cached, but it shouldn't take all too long, you see it's twenty percent. 
So now everything is uh, cached and it should go quite fast now. Yes, 15,000 clones. Let's see how it looks. First, I save it again. That's quite nice, but I think. Uh, let's make a camera. Bing -bong. So, camera. Whoops. And I'm going to 80 maybe. So. We could let rotate this cube too. I delete my cache here, ba -ba 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 -ba. delete the cache, take more or less clones, just with so 5000 is enough for the moment. And now let's rotate the atom array, but because it's on the, on the edges here, it stands on the edges, it's easier to make a null object and put the atom array inside and now rotate the Null object. This is the this is uh, the better way now. When I rotate the null object, you see. Whoops. Okay. And let's see. At zero, I am here. At let's say ninety, I am on hundred eighty. I don't want that it's too fast. So let's see how it looks then. Disable the cloner for the moment. Yeah, this is a good speed, I think. And you can take this to 100 too. So, and I want here that it starts slowly and and ends slowly. So, uh, go to my here. With Alt Shift F3, I go to my F curve. Oops. Here is F curve. So. Okay, and I want an ease in, ease out. So ease, ease. So it's here. Whoops, whoops. And now it starts slow, it becomes faster, and at the end, it again stops slow. Okay, that's what I want. And this should work even with the cloner. Because the null object is what spins. Okay, nice. Everything works fine so far. Here we see through, but uh, when we are just, uh, just 5,000 clones, so. we can let's grow it a little slower because it's finished. No, with, with more clones, it will take longer. Let's see. Go back to 15,000. And I cache again. Ooh, let's cache again. Whoopsie. See you in a second. So, ready cached, and let's see what we get. Yeah, that's perfect. So. Render it again. Works nice.
good. Uh, but maybe let's bring this on a little. So, but uh, yeah, what I do to first? You c yeah, you can now you know how it works. So you can bring this on a little socket as a, as a socket or something else, or bring it in a landscape which would look like nice too. And this, you can do this with any uh, with any uh, primitive for some. Uh, just make an atom array out of it, and that's it. And don't forget to uh, divide the, the edges then. Okay, uh, let's go back here. And again, delete my cache. And make less cloner. I want to show you now how you can do this without fields. So if you don't have R20. Good, so how do we do this? In the cloner. I delete the polygon selection. <coughs> so now we have clones everywhere. When I hit play, it should blob. Yeah. Good. And now we can do this with a uh, a plane effector. So let's bring in a plane effect. A plane, yeah, a plane effector, yes. Cloner, plane effector, so. Tup, 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 plane. Plane effector, so. In the plane effector, I want a linear fall off, so. In the older versions, it's no linear field, it's a linear fall off, so. Linear field, this is the same. And here, the plane effector, I say. In the parameter, not here. I don't want the linear fall off here. I want the linear field, the plane effector. So in the random, I don't need it. In the plane effector, I want it. So. And in the plane effector, I say parameter scale uniform absolute minus one. So now you see, already you see it, when I drag now the plane effector here, so you can grow it here as well. Make it maybe a little shorter here, so... Okay, let's animate this. But bring the linear field in the null so it spins with uh, with the atom array. Okay, in the linear field, this is the x-axis. Whoops. Then let's go to let's say frame seventy-five or so. this okay back so let's see if it works correct no, that looks not better huh? Works very nice. Yeah, and that's the trick. So you can do it like this too. You and yeah, you can even do it with a shader effect or something else. But is it so? They start not. They start somewhere. And this is the cloner. Okay, we have this one. And now I want to show you just one more thing. Here we have. Let's see. Here it looks like uh, they not the, the uh, spheres are not uh, colored each one different, so it looks more than it is 
uh, and noise all over this thing here and this one I'm gonna show you how you can do this so but I want to do this a field so I delete the plane effector and the linear field and bring again to the cloner our selection tag here okay and I make it as 10,000 here uh, 10,000 so let me see something so now we have this one here now let's try to make some fields with different colors. So I disable in the random effector the color. And bring in a shader effector. Be sure you have the cloner selected before and then shader effector. In the cloner, we should have now in the effectors the random and the shader. If not, if you don't have it here, just drag it in. So that's that's all. And in the shader effector, in the parameters, I say uh, effect color color is on. Don't want the alpha strength at the moment, at least. In the shading, I want a noise. You see. Maybe you see it better with the alpha strength. No. But we can go under parameter shading. Let's bring in the contrast a little bit more. So. And make here 200. Now you see we get different. But I'm not sure if this works now with with the spinning. Let's see. Yeah, it seems to work. Yeah, it works definitely here. See it. And this looks nice too. I think it looks nicer. Okay, and I think we are we tackled it. I think we have it. So of course, how, it, how you do your result, we, we, you can do it as I said in a landscape and as on, a, on a socket or something. Else. I'm sure you have many ideas. And this is the way you can do it. And of course I will do I will take a little round for a preview picture. And yeah, okay, I hope you liked this one. I'm um, thinking about Yeah, as I said you can take everything every object and just make an uh, make an atom array out of it and and don't forget so that's and don't forget to uh, and A and B so to to uh, to divide the edges here so that you have enough segments. Because sometimes when you ha don't have enough segments, I will not show you what it's what happens here when I start to grow it. Go to here. As long as it's, yeah. And it, 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 the vertex grows, it's nice. But if you have here in the vertex map here, the, the freeze grow, if you have a too small number here, let's say two, you see it does not grow anymore. It does not reach the next, uh, the next uh, segment here. So if you have something like this, just go one more three and then and you see now it works 
Okay. Nice, 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 nice. We got a nice thing. And yes, the next tutorial will come soon. I just have to uh, arrive totally here. And yeah, during the week, sometime, I don't cannot promise when, but I think latest on Thursday there will be next uh, next tutorial. Maybe it will come be in between a, a easier one. Uh, which is also a word less a quick tip and yeah if you have questions if you have requests if you have complaints just write in the comments or on my facebook group or on my facebook site on my website wherever you want and if you want to donate which would, would be nice for maybe for my next vacation <laughs> so for a beer or a, a wonderful cocktail and uh, yeah, you can do so. The PayPal link you will find in the description too. And if you want to support me on Patreon, you can do also. And on Patreon, you will get all the project files. You will uh, I, so so every tutorial I do, or if I make some some hobby thing, also some relax uh, projects in between, like the the last one I did here. Let's see. I don't know, like like this one here. You see, you get the project file here. I have to, I have to make this uh, not readable. <laughs> and yeah, yeah. So uh, here you get everything. As you see, all my project files I did. So, so granular test. This is a nice one. Whoops. Yeah, this will be maybe a tutorial in uh, one of the future tutorials. I got a lot of questions about this. Okay. And that's it now. Let's see. It's okay. And hopefully you are with me in my next tutorial. And uh, I plan uh, maybe next month to make some live session. And if this is nice, we will do this so all two weeks. Um, if it's very, very nice, maybe weekly, we will see. Uh, but for me, it's a little difficult to, to, to promise when I can do something because I never know when I get a job or something else. I never know uh, when I have to play in cards. <laughs> and, and, and so I try my best. You can believe me, uh, but I cannot promise when I do what. Okay, that's it now. Have a wonderful day and uh, yeah, wish you all the best here from Vienna and I say tschüss und baba.